Look at this, eh? Say so camels back. Say back. So that guy there, he's uh, he's been travelling around on his bike since October last year. Yeah, what a gallop. Beautiful day. Look at this, eh? So it was bloody freezing last night. So right now I'm headed to Kuma to go get some thermal wear for tonight because oh it was so cold got my visor up as you can see just my glasses feel the fresh air oh man this is oh amazing country look at it this is filled covered I should say with snow So uh, we're on the second leg of the trip, three day trip, so today's day two as you can see, beautiful weather, amazing roads, amazing scenery and we're on one hell of an adventure today, so enjoy the ride. The condition of the boat just changed. So, in between uh, Kuma and Jindabyne, day two, gonna head down to Tongrogan, or Gehi. So, from Jindabyne, uh, Kuma's about two hours, so, Due to buy down a bit. Alright. Coming down into Jindy. Oh look at that. Look at the lake. Look at the lake. Woo! 
What a view, eh? What a view. Snowing out in the background. I'm just uh, heading into Jindabai now. You can see the lake in front of me. People go there fishing and skiing and uh, all sorts of activities. It's a great uh, little town just before the snow fields. Just getting fuel now and on our way, we're gonna give you a little story of uh, a bit of history about Threadboat. It's a bit of a tragedy there, so stay tuned. probably thinking why am I riding right on the left side of the road it's because it's actually smoother on the left side off the road than it was actually on the road we're doing the, where they're doing the road works. Coming up to Threadboat. Now I think it was 1996. There was actually a big, big landslide here where uh, many, many people died, and there was one survivor. I can't think of his name. Diver, Stuart Diver. Stuart Diver, maybe. Crackerback Resorts. Out of the blue. Well, those mountains up there, oh, man. I got some weird. Redbow, Redbow, Valley Scooter. Hey, road in Garrigo country. The Diggins Campground, right. So yes, just on the right here, this is the actual ski fields and the runs which come down the hill as you can kind of see on the right. And during summertime, so probably right now, 
as I'm passing there, there's probably mountain bikers up on the hill and riding down the hill. So not just winter activities, plenty of summer activities too. So this is in reference to wild brumbies that sometimes get stuck in unexpected snowfalls and unfortunately die. Going down the mountain when I go. Oh, look at that view! It was on. Yes, it's on. Look at that amazing view, man. After the fires through here, they would have been burning so hot. Look at the trees, man. On the open road My tank is full Beer and drinking here Choosing gratitude Is high free Set up for camp again. Ooh, right next to the river. Been for a swim already. It was amazing. Amazing. Had to have a coffee. 3 30. Mm. So I'll show you the little joey. So, 
cooking up dinner for the second night. And now, here's what we're having. Roast lamb and vegetables with creamy mashed potato, which is in this package. So all you've got to do is add one cup of boiling water, stir well, same as this, one cup of boiling water. And this one I've got to close for 10 to 15 minutes. And it's pretty tasty actually. Last night's dinner was feeling it was pretty good. It was pretty big actually, so uh, they're pretty tasty these. So I recommend it if you are uh, back country style. Recommend it if you're looking for something to take, you know, on bike trips. And I uh, went on a bike trip a couple of years ago for about five days, five nights, four nights, five days. And all I did was was fill up with fuel. Went to town just to fill up with fuel. That was it. Just camped in the bush, kind of like like I am here, and uh, had these meal and didn't show you what I had for breakfast but nice and easy like the pack a bit of muesli it's, these are microwave ones but I just add them into add them into that pot boil it up stir it I have uh, two of these in the morning so uh, let's just uh, take you for a look on the campsite eh That's the camp, the sun set that way, sunrise will be that way, went for a swim before. So good, so refreshing. Now I've got a bit of drone footage of the river here to show you. And uh, yeah, someone's camped here maybe last night. Heaps of roos about, roos and ducks. Ducks, look at those ducks. A few moments later. Alright, moment of truth. Let's check out this mashed potato. Ooh! Let's have a fucking taste. meals I actually eat at home. Alright, well, this is my dinner. Cup of this dinner, grab a cup of tea with the Australian afternoon tea bag. See that? Yeah. Australian afternoon tea bag. Really are good tea bags, those. Uh, kind of like a bushy, bushy kind of taste. Anyway, probably laughing at that. That's what I think. Anyway, thanks for joining us. And uh, the next clip, you might see a sunrise. Cheers. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
some friends there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All different kinds. <laughs> I know that they do the round. Oh, do they? Yeah. <laughs> Go from one camp to the next. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah.